I train MMA. They call me Tony Eros Fichera. These are called punches or jabs. Right, left, left, right. It's gotta be random. You gotta confuse your opponent. You can't even follow along with me, can you? I am good. Front kick, front kick, Chuck Norris style. Favorite MMA fighters are any UFC champion. Favorite MMA artists are Chuck Norris, Texas Ranger. Steven Seagal, Lawman, and Joe Rogan, Fear Factory. Hi, I'm Tony's manager slash trainer. My name is Rich. What is it? Rich. R. I. C. H. Okay, got it. Here's the problem with Tony. He doesn't listen. Okay, when I tell him to run, he wants to lift weights. When I tell him to lift weight, he wants to run. He also doesn't watch his diet. He flip-flops around the weight class. If he steps on the scale and he's 170, he fights as a welterweight. If he's 185, he fights as a middleweight. There's no structure. I'm training for my sixth MMA fight currently. I got about two weeks until the big day. My current record is 5-0. Reversed. <laughs> yeah, I lost five times. But this time I'm ready. Not trying to bulk up, so I do low weight, low reps. <sighs> Staying fit by being smart. <clears throat> you know, some people think fighters are dumb. Whatever. I read books. It's a stereotype, a terrible stereotype. Martial arts is much more about your thoughts than your- Oops. I hope nobody heard that. No one here except for us. Private gym. Closed. Fancy. Thanks to my coach, Rich. The thing about fighting and exercising is you have to love it or you're never going to succeed. And I love it. Just got done running. Did about five minutes on medium speed. Don't want to overtrain. That's the biggest problem with today's fighters is overtraining. When fight day comes, they are top fit. You don't want that. On fight day, you want to be in shape enough to maybe do one or two rounds max. That way your recovery time increases by a huge margin. That's the secret. The longer your recovery time, the better. You see that? I will teach you. Hey, ready to go. Packing up all these snacks and drinks because they're good for me. Also ate a crap load of pasta last night. That's called carving up. I also ate a lot of broccoli last night. I'm feeling really bloated. But it's a good kind of bloated, you gotta understand. All right, I'm ready to go. Wish me luck. Or as the old guy in Back to the Future says, where we're going, we don't need luck. Ugh, crap. Nervous? No, I'm really f tired though. What? Well, first off, I've been warming up for the last five hours. Also, Beverly Hills Cop 3 came on late last night. And I had to watch it because there's no way I'm going to pass up seeing Eddie Murphy in the best physical shape of his life. Another thing I meant to ask you, am I wearing a bathrobe? Yes. Why the hell am I wearing a bathrobe? I should be wearing the finest silks from Persia. You know, we can't afford that. How the hell am I supposed to get in the fighting spirit wearing this? Just focus on the fight and not on how you look, okay? I'm gonna look like an idiot walking out in this. Even the ring girls are gonna laugh at me. The ring girls are gonna bang you after the fight. That's what they're gonna do. I have a girlfriend. Well, trust me, you're not gonna look like an idiot. Okay, think about this though. Once you take off that rope, everyone will see your badass walkout shirt. It is a pretty badass shirt. You got me there. The color though. Pink? We could have picked a better color. It's time. Well, this is it. You ready? 
Yes. Well, let's do it then, sweetheart. Come on now, let's go. Who's the best? You're the best. Yes, you are. Show them who's the best. Do it. Do it. Sucked. What? What? I got my ass beat. Handed to me on a gold platter. Sorry. Sorry. What was I out for like thirty seconds? Two minutes. Two minutes. We should have trained more. Training. That's what we're lacking. Also, I had almost no Vaseline on me. The other guy was covered head to toe in it. He was slippery as. I, I put it on you. I swear. Yeah, you kept rubbing it on my eyebrows, and you kept saying, Oh, yeah, rubbing Vaseline, it's like a fine art. It's like putting on mascara. Do you wear mascara? What? <laughs> no. It's not a fine art. You take a big f***ing blob and you smear it all over my face. That way, when the other guy's gloves hit it, they slide right off. Slide right off? Slide right off. Look at my gloves. They look good? Yeah, that's a big problem. The other guy's gloves are all ripped up. Mine look brand new. I could probably return to the store right now and they wouldn't even know they've been used. What? Wrong size? That's what they'd ask me. I also think I heard somebody yell loser when we were walking back into the locker room. Who does that? Kick me while I'm down. You ain't even lift, bro! That's what I should've asked him. Calm down, okay? Your adrenaline's still high from the fight. What we really need to do is get you to the hospital and get you checked out and make sure there's nothing wrong with you. Yeah, you're right. But I swear to you, if you don't get me the hottest nurse, I swear to you, I swear I'm done with you. I want the finest piece of a bedside. Okay. Finest. Finest. Did you get the prize money? Yes. Okay. Also, you're going to grab one of those event posters on the way out. They are badass.